So we're finally getting to fall. Today, I wanna to talk about the only leather jacket I think you're ever going to need. This is the new Satchel and Page leather bomber jacket. Let's get right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Desmond. I make content about travel, lifestyle, and camera gear. And today, we're actually talking about this leather bomber jacket from Satchel and Page. I am really, really loving this. I haven't had a chance to wear it as often. There's been a bit of a heat wave in California and the rest of the country, but now that we are moving into fall, this is gonna be my everyday wear jacket. And if you've seen my channel before, you've probably seen my Satchel and Page All Leather Weekender review. That is a beautiful bag made from Italian leather, and they bring that same kind of quality to their jackets. This specifically is the Leather Bomber. This is made out of French leather. It is vegetable tanned. Honestly, it feels soft and supple. Really high quality tanning. Um, stitching all around is pretty much perfect. And what I will say, my most favorite feature of this jacket is actually the fit. What you're gonna notice here is the tailored fit of this jacket. It feels really good on the body. I think that's one of the things that is tough when you're purchasing off the shelf leather jackets. They tend to be expensive and they don't tend to fit every body type. I would say this is a really great fit overall. I'm about 5'10", 170 so odd pounds, pretty athletic build, broader shoulders, larger chest. And this jacket fits really, really well. One of the things that I will say that I love about this jacket is Yes, it fits well, but it also lets you move pretty freely. And what I'll show you here on the side is these flaps. They give you some extra mobility. It allows the jacket to stretch and move as you move. Again, what you'll notice here is as I'm moving, this flap over here is allowing some really nice flexibility. Again, not something you're gonna get with a lot of off the rack jackets and something I'm really loving about this overall. So build quality and design. Honestly, you get exactly what you pay for. This is beautifully made, and this is very classic Satchel and Page. High quality, French leather. Like I said, it's supple, it's vegetables hand, it's really soft, incredibly warm. You have these great cuffs. Stitching is perfect all along. You get really nice brass buttons and zippers. It fits the aesthetic really well, right? So this is a dark, brown vegetable tanned leather and you have the spanish shirling collar this is actually removable which i really like about it i live in california it doesn't get too hot but for those of you in the east coast having something like this is going to be really really nice so let's move on to the inside of the jacket so here you have this great really soft tartan lining i like this it's good contrast too between the dark brown and this like great blue looking color you've got an internal pocket also lined with that same internal pattern and more brass finishing all over. So let's go ahead and take this off and I'll show you some other features of this jacket. I want to just walk you around everything to show you the attention to detail. So again, take a look at the back of this jacket. Like I said, these flaps right here. This allows for some really nice movement. Again, when you have a tailor fit jacket especially in something as stiff as leather it tends to be really hard to move around so i love that they built in these extra folding flaps it allows you to move freely and not be constricted by this really nice high quality but pretty stiff leather next let's pop the collar on the back here you can see this little hook i can take that off Pop off these little corner pieces right here. And then I can unzip this right off the jacket. All right, and you can remove this Spanish shirling collar. And now you've got a pretty classic leather bomber jacket. No fur, no collar. Nice and easy, pretty good for daily wear. So a couple things to note about this particular jacket. Like I said, it is really well made and it is fitted. So unfortunately for some of you that are maybe more on like the muscular side, this tends to run small. So I usually wear a medium in 
t-shirts, hoodies, other things, but for something like this, I had to size up just because of my more athletic build, broader shoulders, bigger back and chest. So for those of you that are probably much bigger than I am, this is gonna be a tight fit. I would recommend sizing up to like an XL or an L. Um, but that comes with pros, right? This looks great, it looks fitted, it looks like it's made for me and I can give it a quick zip so you have an idea of what something like this looks like. Again, when it's zipped, it's a little hard to fully expand the body, but the leather will get softer, it will patina, it will soften with time, and that's what's really nice about a jacket like this. So why do I think this makes a great everyday jacket and probably one of the only leather jackets you have to buy? So first of all, I think the color makes a huge difference. This is really versatile, it's a dark brown, fits, matches with anything, any particular color you wanna wear. And two, it's because this bomber jacket has a pretty timeless style. This is gonna look good with jeans, with a dress shirt, whatever type of outfit you wanna dress it up with or dress it down with. All right, and speaking of outfits for a jacket like this, I'd probably recommend something as equally timeless. So if you've seen my channel before, you know that I love Cuts clothing. So what I've got on today is a Cuts Crew tee. This is in a great heather gray. And what I love about this is this is the classic fit. So normally, Cuts has a signature fit, which is a little bit more form-fitting, tighter around the torso. For me, I'm really digging these classic fits. They're more comfortable, at least for me, and they fit more seamlessly with some of the styles that I wear. So I love having something like this. I'm gonna step back a bit because what I'm also wearing is a pair of the Cuts joggers. I have these in the navy. Again, one of the things that I love about a Cuts outfit is they're built to look good. The fit and finish is always very clean, but they're comfortable. They're stretchy, they're breathable, and that's what makes it a everyday essential for me. So I'd say nine out of 10 times, I'm always wearing at least one thing from Cuts. Most of the time, it's both. I've got some joggers on, I've got a t-shirt on, and I'll throw on a jacket or I'll throw on one of Cuts hoodies or sweatshirts. Those are some of my favorite weekend wears. I would highly recommend, I will leave a discount code in the description below for 15% off anything you wanna order from them. So moving back to the jacket, now that you've got some great outfit choices, how much does something like this cost? So this beautiful leather jacket costs $695. And I will tell you, having spent so much time with it, holding it in my hand, wearing it, for the price you're getting a ton, especially for a jacket of this quality. Normally you go to any of these uh, big logo stores, you're gonna be paying well over $1,000 for a high-end leather jacket that's probably a little bit thinner than this, may not have the same quality or attention to detail, or you may be just be paying for the brand name. But for a jacket of this quality, you're getting a lot for the amount of money you paid. And the other reason is, if you think about all the years that you'll be able to wear something like this, and the fact that it is a pretty timeless design, I'd say if you saw somebody wearing this 20 or 30 years ago, and you see somebody wearing this again today, it still looks good. It's still a very timeless design. So you're gonna get a lot of mileage out of something like this versus say something from All Saints or Zara's, which is usually pretty fast fashion, relatively thin and that design and the appeal of those jackets tends to fade pretty quickly. One of the other things you should know is that Satchel and Page is re-releasing this jacket soon. They always make these in limited batches, which is why I'm so fortunate to have gotten my hands on one. So I will leave a link to that page as well. And when they come back in stock, or when they start producing uh, more of these jackets, I would definitely recommend picking one up. You're really not going to regret it. And the other thing is, Working with Satchel and Page, their customer service is incredible. Returns will be really easy. They'll work with you in getting the right size. So if you get something that's a little too tight, you can always send it back. They'll find you what fits best. And honestly, that's why I love that brand so much. Their bags, now their jackets. It's pretty impressive and I would 10 out of 10 recommend. All right. If you like this content, I will be creating more lifestyle stuff just like this for the channel, but hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I will catch y'all in the next one.